Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom run animation in Roblox Studio. Let's get started. So I bet some of you out there are like, oh man, I'm so tired of the old default Roblox run animation. I wonder what I'd feel like to make my own. But there's a problem. I don't know how to make one. Well, today you've come to the right place because I will be showing you how to do that. So, first thing what you want to do is just open up Roblox Studio, which I'm already in right now. I'm in a studio with nothing literally here. So, um, I was just, I just made one just to show you guys how to, what I meant by a custom run animation. So, let's just delete that for now. So, first thing what you want to do is, uh, first you go to, you go to Avatar, then go to Rig Builder. And then you can choose their rig type. I highly recommend R6. It's a lot easier to animate with. And then you can choose female or male. Um, so yeah, let's go to block avatar. This is the one I like to animate most with. Um, so what you want to next up, what you want to do is open up animation editor, which it's not opening. I don't know why. There we go. Sometimes it lags out. Then what you want to do is select the rig. And then you can just name it to anything you want. We're just going to name it Run. Okay. So, net, so first up what we want to do is, which we're, we're going we're gonna to want to do is go to uh, Rotate. And then we you can just rotate the arms any way you'd like to, to start up your Run animation. Just like that. There we go. Then you can just rotate the leg like that. Oops, not too far. Yeah, like that. Then that there you go then I like to just like rotate it down a little bit like that okay there we go so now what we can next up do is just uh, I like to change the frame to three minutes so now like you can make it like this length this length however you want it to be um so yeah uh, next up where you you can just move this blue line to wherever you want to where the next frame is gonna be. I'm probably just gonna maybe do it uh here. Yeah sure here. Um we can always fix it if it's not right. And then next up what we can do is rotate this next arm. Cause so this cause this is the next frame so we wanna change it to um a different run frame because we don't want it to be the same. And then what we can do is just rotate the leg. Whoops not too far. Um and then we can just do that same thing, but for the other leg, there we go. And then maybe like make them a bit lower. So now let's see. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. Sure. Uh, okay. I might like do that maybe. What about this? Let's see, like make his. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. So now what we can do is just move your blue line again to wherever you want it to be. Uh, I like to try to keep it even, but sometimes it does not be exact. So which, next up, you want to copy and paste that same frame, Control C, Control V, and then you can just loop it. This loop it. I, I can't talk today. You can just loop it. It's this is the button right here to toggle it, and then you just hit play button, and uh, yeah. That, so that's going to be our running animation. Yet again, it does not have to be the same exact one. Feel free to do whatever you guys want to. And then uh, next up, what we want to do is uh, just... You know, yep, so now we're done with this. So now just press this these three dots right here. Set animation priority and movement. You could do whatever. I just like to do movement. I think that's the best option. Actually, yeah, do, I th if I were you, I, I think you should do movement. Anyways, let's press the three dots again, and then publish to Roblox. So now our animation is publishing to Roblox. And then uh, just hit save right here. Okay, there you go. And then close, and then you can just exit out of the animation editor. Or, an yeah, editor. And then once we hit play, you can tell that, you know, just um, our basic run animation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a big thing, big thing. Go to game settings and then make sure go to avatar and make sure it's r6 avatar type r6 animation player choice and collision doesn't really matter 
So yeah, there you go. So just make sure it's an R6 and the animation is player choice. So now next up, what you, do, what you want to do is hit play. Okay, and then go to workspace and then just click your character and then click the arrow right next to it. And then get go to your animate script right here. And then just control C. You want to copy and paste it. And then paste it into the actual game. The reason why you want to play test it, the reason why you want to um do it while you're playing the game is because you cannot see your actual avatar, like your name, in the studio. You can only see it once you're play testing it. Anyways, what you want to do is drag your animate script to the starter character scripts that's in the starter player so just put it in the starter character scripts and now what you want to do is press the arrow right next to the animate script script and then go to run and then press the arrow and then run anim and uh now we need to get our animation id so now in order to get your animation id what you want to do is go to your inventory then go to animations and then yep there's ours right there run and then uh, you need to copy and paste the ID. Let me get it out of full screen. There we go. And then right here, this animation right here, this uh, this is the ID, just these numbers. Make sure you copy and paste the numbers. Make sure it doesn't highlight any of the dash. See, like, make sure it doesn't highlight that. Just It has to be just the numbers, just like that. There we go. So control C, and then you can go back to your studio. Then right here, Press the arrow next to your run animation, then run anim, go to run anim, then animation ID. You want to click on that and then replace it with the one that you copied. And then just control V to paste, just like that. But the problem is you have to also do that for the walk animation, short animation. So just go to walk, press the arrow, walk anim, animation ID, control V, enter. And now what you can do is play test it. And then you can just move around, and there you go. Right there. That's your own custom run animation. So, uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, um, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to that. Um, anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys learned something, please let me know in the comments down below if you guys enjoyed this video and the tutorial helped you. I hope it helped you guys out. Um, but anyways, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys would also like to make your own custom, like, item animation, just, I sorry, not item, idol animation, just do that same thing. Create the animation, then just publish it, go to your inventory, go to animations, copy and paste that, um, ID, and then, um, yeah, um, then you just want to, you know, cop go to the game, make sure it's R6, copy and paste your avatar, and sorry, the animation script in your avatar, and, um, yeah, and then you, bring, you put it into the char starter character scripts, you hit the arrow, and then you, instead of going to run and walk, you do idle, then yeah, there you go, go to the idle thingy mabobber, then just copy and paste it. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.